What's up everyone, TF Review 16 back with a video review of the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Decepticon Crowbar, one of the three dreads that we see in the Dark of the Moon movie. He comes with this backdrop. You can see the highway chase scene display in the back. Very cool little display stand that does come in the box. Taking a quick look at the packaging, you can see robot to vehicle mode. We're gonna show the transformation from robot to vehicle mode. Transforms in 20 steps. Up here it says big screen inspired scale detail backdrop, high speed chase. So this is the highway scene from Dark of the Moon. Taking a look at Crowbar here, he does come with his spikes and they do store on his back. So you can hook these little hooks right there onto his back to store those and he also does hold them. So there's little handles there and he can hold him, hold his weapons like in the fight scene with Ironhide and Sideswipe. So there is his weapons. And these are just plastic, not too much detail. Let me get a focus in here for you. There we go. Uh, not, not too much uh, paint. Uh, and they are a softer plastic material, but very cool. This would be the spike section, and then these are some type of bombs that go off once it's stuck in its prey. And uh, yeah, so he comes with those. You can see uh, nice detail on the head sculpt here. Very cool. He's got multiple eyes there and these big protruding front jaw with this fangs that go up to his forehead pretty much. Uh, some decent paint there on that. Uh, he does have all of his dreads flowing out the back here, and I kind of like to leave these the way they are uh, for transformation. Uh, you could probably warm these up, heat these up, and get them to you know, lay down more, or you could put them through the back here as well if you wanted to, to kind of keep those down. But I like to keep them kind of like this for transformation because it makes it easier to kind of hide these things away. And again, I, I tuck these forward, but if you take these back, these will also stick out the side. The dreads stick out the side, very cool. And again, yeah, here's the back of the figure. Taking a look at the back and some of the detail here on the legs and the feet. Very cool, different mold uh, than the other two dreads that we've gotten. We'll take a look at those two and compare them. But yeah, there is his robot mode. Some paint details on his chest there and mostly just molded in different color grays uh, for the plastic. So there's some detail there uh, in terms of articulation. His head moves forward and back and it does have a ball joint so it rotates tilts all around he's got um, shoulder joints that move up this is due to transformation and then these are on a ball joint and then he has the bicep swivel and he's got 90 degrees at the arm there and he has a an ab crunch but that is also due to transformation and no waist articulation the legs go forward very far, they go back very far. He does have the knee bend there. He's got the thigh swivel as well. And he has no ankle tilt, but the ankles, the feet go forward and back. Again, that is also due to transformation. This piece kind of gets in the way a little bit. So he does have some kibble on the back of his legs and on his backpack. So you can kind of see how, how that works. And here we have all three of the dreads together, all three deluxe class black Suburbans so far. So we have the three black Suburbans. Two of them are from the film, the Dark of the Moon film. This is Crankcase and of course Crowbar. And then this is Berserker from the Transformers The Last Night film. So we are missing Hatchet, I believe, to make the three black Suburbans from the Dark of the Moon movie. It would be really nice to see a deluxe class hatchet come out so that would be cool to complete the set but in the meantime we do have the three black suburbans so here they are together for a size comparison and you can let me know in the comments which one of these guys you like the best 
All right, transforming the Dreadbot from his robot mode into the suburban mode. What you want to do is start with the arms and the legs, and you want to straighten his arm out, fold his fist in, and uh, put this section up here, and then rotate it like so, and then swing the arm up like so. Again, same on this side, straighten that, rotate his hand in, bring this up and rotate it around like that. So you can see the back of the Suburban forms his arms. And then for the legs, you want to flip his feet. So his feet are, yeah, flip the, uh, the tires here forward and the feet will fold straight. We'll rotate it right there at the thigh. And then this piece right here, we'll tab into the side right there. There's a little tab right there you can see, and that will swing in and tab into place. There you go. So you can see how this is gonna kind of work for the transformation. Uh, same thing on this side, you want to fold this around, bring this foot forward, and then you want to make sure that this piece is tabbed in there like so. You can bring the front of the vehicle out. Uh, and then, so how the dreads work, I'll show you here in a second. You want to kind of, the head tucks forward a little bit so you can rotate the dreads down. This is kind of why, not, why I like to keep them like this because you can see they fold, they'll fold underneath. Uh, for the backpack here, you want to lift this up, bring the rear section of the Suburban out, bring this section down, and then you want to take these dreads, and these will fold under onto themselves like so, and they kind of feed through this little section right here. So those will fold forward and feed in through there. And then you have the dreads kind of all going in the same direction here that will fold underneath the vehicle. That'll make it a lot easier. Then once you have it like that, you can take the arms at the shoulders and then swing them all the way in. Again, swing the arms all the way in like so. And there you have that. And then the roof section here will fold over and you can see how the back will line up. And there's tabs on the side here to tab the back of the Suburban into place. And you want to make sure that these kind of pieces are lined up. The front of the vehicle will come down. Again, yeah, you got to make sure. Yeah, there you go. Snap the roof section into place. And there's the back of the Bourbon, the front. And then you want to take these sections here, rotate them up, and they will tab into place like so same on this side rotate this up and these will tab right into place right there and right there then you take the front of the suburban and you collapse it in like so and there you have it almost done then what you want to do you see you have all the dreads sticking out the bottom now and then you can just Feed these in through here. Sometimes it pops stuff out, but there you go. Just feed all these dreads up and tuck them away underneath the vehicle mode, like so. There you go. And they're designed to be just long enough to tuck in away under here. And again, sometimes when you're tucking it and under, some things can come on tabs. You just want to make sure everything is tabbed in place. And there you have the underside, and there you have the complete transformation from robot mode into the black suburban mode. Taking a closer look at the suburban mode, he does roll very nicely. Again, everything's tucked under there very nicely, and it's got some really nice details. It has a dark blue paint for all the windows. All the windows are painted in. It has these sirens on the top and on the back. 
and he's got the Decepticon symbol there on the door. Uh, these feet sections do stick out. I mean, there's no getting around that. So taking a look at the back of the vehicle, you can see there's some kibble here with his feet. Uh, it would have been nice if they could have folded these forward to just kind of go flush with the rest of it. But nice detail. I love, I love the lifted bourbon look. Very cool. On the front, you have the Chevy symbol. Again, official licensing by GM. You have the uh, nice molded in detail here for the front of the vehicle and the hood scoop. Tires are all black, no paint on those, and it has the uh, silver pegs going through there, or the, uh, yeah, for the wheels. Again, you got the pegs there too. And then you have this section here that kind of breaks up the look as well. Um, for the transformation so there's really no getting around that it would have been nice if this was molded black as well so it doesn't stand out so much uh, other than that rear rear tail lights are painted in there's no uh, license plate there it even has the molded detail with the hitch connection there and even the gas tank so very detailed suburban truck mode I do like it as far as weapon storage goes for vehicle mode, you can take his spiky bomb weapons here uh, and you can tab these into the side so they kind of slide in like forward. Uh, so you can tab them into the side there. Uh, and again, there's some extra playability. Not screen accurate at all because these weapons weren't shown in vehicle mode but you can do that and there's also i really wish they would have had storage underneath but there is a way that you can actually tuck these in underneath there's not a way to do it where they're not sticking out the back but you can also tuck them in underneath if you wanted and then you can have some exhaust sticking out <laughs> that's some crazy exhaust you can do it either way so the spikes are sticking out too um so if you wanna, if you wanted, you can always feed these in through here and get them to store this way in vehicle mode as well. So that is an option as well for storing his weapons and it still will roll if you do that. And finally, we have all three of the Black Suburbans here together. So you can see they're all different molds, but very, very similar. These guys are, are almost identical as far as the mold goes for these two. But uh, there are some differences in the legs. And Crankcase here is a unique mold to all these, and he transforms completely different than the rest of them. And so I really like the crankcase. Uh, it's hard to choose my favorite, but um, here they are all together. Again, please leave a comment. Tell me which one you like the best. I'm torn between crankcase. I think crankcase might be my favorite. I like this suburban mode better. It's lift. It's more lifted. I like the black windows. I like the clear uh, sections right here, the clear sirens rather than, than the plastic ones. So you, you definitely have some difference. I also like the clear on the uh, front tail light or the front headlights. And I like the tires, the knobby tires, more than these smaller tires. So yeah, I'd say Suburban Mode probably goes to Crankcase, but I do like them all. And now we finally have them all together. These two are from the films. I'm sorry, yeah, these two are from the movies. This is Berserker from from the uh, last night. So the only one we're missing is the one that runs like a dog, that would be Hatchet. Uh, so hopefully we'll get a deluxe class Hatchet sometime. So let's do a size comparison. Here is the Studio Series Crowbar next to the Voyager class Dark of the Moon Ironhide. So you see a big difference in scale here. Obviously the scale is off a little bit. These trucks are significantly a lot larger than a, than a Suburban. This is a lifted Suburban, but it's still not this dramatic, I don't think. Uh, so again, this is a little bit upscaled in, in terms of scale for these guys. And here is Crowbar with the Voyager Optimus Prime in his truck mode. So you can get an idea how these guys look together as well. And here he is next to the Deluxe Class Studio Series Stinger, so you can get an idea of scale for these two. Again, I think the Suburban mode should have been a little bit larger, 
uh, the uh, a bourbon would be larger than a, a Pugani Huera. So there you go. There's your size comparison for these two. So my final thought for the Transformers Studio Series 03 Deluxe Class Crowbar. This is definitely a set. I love the Studio Series set. Uh, I want to get all of them. I do have the entire first wave. So I'm really looking forward to the Jazz and Lockdown and the Voyager Class Brawl and Megatron. So those are the next four to come out. But I do have the entire first wave. Again, he is the third one of the wave. And he does complete the three red set uh, again we're missing a deluxe class hatchet but uh, with these three all together I do really like having the three dreads together so even though we're still missing hatchet there we go we got this guy at least so I do love the transformation I love the vehicle mode I love the dread bot mode really nice sculpting and detail so I would give this definitely a high recommend so thanks so much for tuning in. TF Review 16 here. You can follow me on Twitter at TF Review 16. Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for my next studio series review. And until next time, keep collecting.